Well, in the ring here right now, flaming youth, we have Rick Diesel, and he's preparing to take on your partner in Mad Dog. Well, we should have a lot of fun. A little bit too late to be worrying about that right now. Mad Dog, a big fan favorite wherever he goes. Preparing here to take on Rick Diesel, who we saw last week in a contest against one of the pretty young things, me and Mark Ash. Referee for this match is Don Hopkins. Mad Dog taking off his little ring regalia there. Mad Dog's real aggressive, man. I love tagging with the guy who's stronger there. Uh, almost indestructible. I've seen the man eat glass, bust boards over the cage. You cannot hurt the man at all. As a matter of fact, I've seen him do that also. He's he's very, very tough man. Really unorthodox style of wrestling. You don't know how to prepare for him. I know he's kind of a challenge for me to prepare time for this guy. I've got kind of a scientific martial art background. And he's just real wild and reckless. This and, should uh, be a good match here today. Because he's taking on a man that's probably just as tough, mean, and honor as he is. Yeah, well, there we saw Diesel grab a handful of hair. I think that's all he'll do about the most amount of time. Rick Diesel having a... A few words with referee Don Hopkins there. Okay, lock up collar and elbows. Mad Dog right back with that top wrist lock, wide stance. Good wide base. Oh, and again, Diesel goes to the hair. Power down. Was that hair or power down? I couldn't tell from where I was sitting. There's no way he could power Mad Dog down. Rick Diesel having his problems with referee Don Hopkins here. Seems to be a disagreement on what's going on in the ring. Well, well they're back running that top wrist block. Oh, and Mad Dog. Oh, this time Mad Dog paid the favor. Evens the score there with a little hair pull of his own. Rick Diesel not happy about this at all. Now he's complaining about a hair pull. Well, Mad Dog not not trying to get out of this at all. Well, I can't say the man's not on. He said he pulled my hair, so I pulled his hair. Jim Collar and Ty walk up. Oh, big rake to the eyes on that dog. Back to the rope, big Irish whip. Big. Oh, my goodness. Rick Diesel, oh, he misses that elbow drop. Takes him, whips him in the rope. Big elbow. Takes his man down. What's he going to do? Oh, oh, he, he misses that, that headbutt. Head he's known for. That has got to hurt. He's got Mad Dog in the corner, delivers a shoulder. Mad Dog switches, throws him into the opposite corner, comes out, back drop. I guarantee that right there will jam in 26 floating vertebrae in your back. Oh, on a low bridge. Oh. Right now, the referee's got to make a decision whether he wants to disqualify these or the match to off. Well, that'll definitely take you down no matter how tall you are, how much you weigh. That'll definitely slow the action down. Living a series of lights to Mad Dog's ear. He might be trying to mess up that ear that he hurt a dog trying to match up that ear mess up that equilibrium. Yeah, I remember that well. I was in attendance at that one. Call into action at ringside. One of the toughest matches I've been in in my life. Rick Diesel taking Mad Dog up by the hair. Irish whip into the rope. Mad Dog comes off. Oh, he met with a big clothesline. Right across the second round with me. Lighter press. Oh, and Mad Dog throws Rick Diesel off and lands on top of the referee. Referee Don Hopkins is having a hard go of it here today. Looks like he's setting Mad Dog up for a high vertical suplex. No way, Mad Dog. Oh, Excellent reversal there. Well, he's gone.
to work on that left knee. He could take Mad Dog's leg out from under him. He may have a very good opportunity to win this match. What's he doing there? Sort of a variation of the spinning toe hole there. Yeah, made, uh, very famous by the Fullers. Uh, yeah, exactly. Exactly. The Fullers making this hole famous. And also, Russell Family made this hole very famous with the Funk Brothers. Exactly. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, Terry Funk won his first world title with this move over Jack Briscoe. Referee Don Hopkins asking him if he gives. The Mad Dog not conceding as of yet. He has a very high threshold of pain, too. Looks like Dean might be getting a head for a rope a little bit extra leverage. I believe he is. You guys have been traveling all across the state, wrestling and tag matches all over. So I'm sure you know each other's moves very well, so you can very well tell what he's going to do next. Yeah, you got to learn how to read your opponent as well as your partner to be a successful tag coach. One, two, Diesel kicks out. Both of you guys are very successful in singles competition, too. Yeah, I've held a uh, junior heavyweight title. I've held uh, a lot of different regional titles in my career. I understand you're very well versed in the martial arts also. Yeah, I have uh, belts of two different styles, uh, the Keto and uh, Kung Fu. And uh, I'm trying to learn a third style right now. you got a lot to keep you busy, don't you? Yes. Rick Diesel with an attempted pin there on your partner, Mad Dog, who's slowly making his way to his feet. Liver blows right to Mad Dog's red match. Maybe try to knock the red out of it. If you don't have your win in the match, you're in a lot of trouble. You can't breathe, you can't fight. You're exactly right. Oh, and Mad Dog with a crashing blow. I thought that free frontal load, as Gordon Soley would say. Well, that'll rattle your cage, so to speak. Right of right of my heart. Oh, and what a hard blow. Well, look at that stun Mad Dog a little bit. It definitely had to hurt his hand as hard as he hit him. Back to me, another Irish whip. Oh, it's sort of a variation of a clothesline there. He catches the man around the chin, sort of twists his head as he goes down. Picks him up for a big full body slam. Picks the man up, holds him there a little bit, gives him time to think about what's about to happen to him. Mad Dog going to the second rope. Getting the fans behind him. Just flying across. Oh! Sometimes misses. the high-risk moves do not pay off. Misses that headbutt flying across the ring. One. One. Count of one, and Mad Dog makes it to the rope. Oh, and Rick Diesel takes his man, throws him out of the ring. Onto the hard concrete floor right here in Glen Alpine at the Ambet Post number 980. Well, I don't know if Diesel wants to follow him out there, but Mad Dog loves to get out there on the floor. He yes, he does. He he can to his yes, he does. We all know what happened during the match here with the Heartbreaker on the floor, where the most damage was done. Oh. Both men coming back into the ring. Referee Don Hopkins delivering the count. We got a pure six going on here. They're just Looks fighting like tooth and nail. The upper hand. Pound for pound, Mad Dog's probably one of the hardest wrestlers when it comes to using those fists that you'll ever encounter. Rick comes off with a big clothesline, takes the man down. One, two. It's not going to kill Mad Dog if I hook that leg. I try to stretch time and time again. You've got to stay at the basics. Oh, Mad Dog with a headbutt just kind of... Looks like it caught him right across the bridge of that nose. He rattles Rick Diesel. What's he going to do? Oh, oh my goodness. DDT. DDT. And that move, when it's used correctly, can take out any man. Right. One, two. Still too close to the ropes. He's got to get his man in the middle of the ring. 
Looks like Deeds will slow down the ring. This is a good move on his part to try to stop his opponent's momentum. Mad Dog has followed him out. Oh, and takes him to the post outside of the ring here. But I told you, Mad Dog will hit you with anything you can. You're exactly right. Mad Dog taking Rick Deeds, throwing him back in the ring. He's going to follow him back in. What is he going to do here? He needs to follow it up quickly. Why well, still got him days. Reaches down with a handful of hair. Oh my oh. goodness. And he wedges Rick Diesel. I know that's an old trip we used to use back in grade school. That's something that probably doesn't happen to Rick Diesel too often. Oh, and just a series of turnbuckles. And oh, man. Hip toss, takes him down, Mad Dog goes to pin, and still he's too close to the ropes. He needs to get him in the middle of the ring. That was a good move on Mad Dog's part. Looks like he was just trying to make the man run across the ring over and over, just trying to make him run out of gas. Rick Diesel has Mad Dog in the corner, driving those shoulders in. Mad Dog trying to fight his way out. Oh, a headbutt to the midsection, and Mad Dog they're trying to fight out with those forearms. Come on, dog, knock your way out of there, boy. And they're just, they're just, they're just knocking it out, fighting it out right on the mat. All the rule book right out the window in this match. And this is not wrestling here. I don't think they care anymore. Oh, oh my gosh. There's a big shoe and a big five right Rick there. Rick Diesel just socks referee Don Hopkins. Mad dog, suplex. Suplex. Goes to the, the pin. Press hook He's got him. Play. One, two. Three, on, referee, four, four, five. Had him good for a good five count there, but referee Don Hopkins dazed from that blow, and he's calling for the bell, you. I think you were right. He's calling for the bell. Mad Dog takes Rick Diesel. Oh, and he just slides out. He doesn't want any part of that. Mad Dog, your winner by disqualification. Rick Diesel with that crashing blow. Your referee, Don Hopkins, and your winner of this match by disqualification, Mad Dog. And ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back with our main event match, The Pretty Young Things, with Candy Kane and David Webb 